Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News, the show that may or may not be five minutes. Today in the news, the World of Warcraft rumored mobile MMO. Yeah, that's not a thing anymore. Over on Bloomberg, they report that after three years of development, Activision Blizzard and NetEase have shut down production of the Warcraft mobile game. The team of 100 developers assembled by NetEase has been disbanded, all because the two companies disagreed over terms and money and ultimately called a halt to the project. A person familiar with the deal said in the article. And this is super interesting to me because as we know, NetEase is Blizzard's gateway into China. And there have been some problems of late that we have addressed before. Back in June, Diablo Immortal got held up in China because NetEase said there were some adjustments that needed to be made. But it was at that exact same time that Blizzard's Diablo Immortal account was being banned from one of China's biggest social media platforms. What's even crazier is I think we probably all forgot this isn't even the first Blizzard mobile game canceled recently either. As the Pokemon Go style WoW game that was being worked on for I guess four plus years was canceled as well. Yeah, and while canceled games happen all the time in this industry, I do think it's interesting that the tension between Netties and Blizzard is something that keeps coming up over and over and over again. It just seems like the two companies don't really know how to work well together, at least if the past few months is any indication, actually, probably the past few years. Yeah, I don't know. It's very interesting, and we will see what all this means moving forward into next year and potentially this Microsoft Activision Blizzard deal. In other news, remember early last month when EA was called out for mocking single-player games online? Well, they really want you to know that they actually love single-player games. They're great. But also, have you heard of live service titles? Like I was saying, last month, EA received some flack online for an already dated tweet. They're a 10, but they only like playing single-player games. The internet properly roasted whatever social media manager tweeted that stinker, and everyone moved on. Except EA, it seems, as they continue to mention time and time again that actually, they really love single-player games. During an earnings call on Tuesday, EA was asked how single-player games fit into the company's portfolio. And now I'm going to read to you what the CEO said, word for word, verbatim, because I hate myself. Our players on balance have these core motivations, inspiration, escape, social connection, competition, self-improvement, creation, these things that bring us together as players of games. And the creation of worlds, the building of characters, the telling of stories is really important in the fulfillment of some of those motivations. We think about our portfolio and we think about building it out. We really think about it on two key vectors. One, how can we tell incredible stories? And two, how can we build tremendous online communities? And then, how do we bring these two things together? So when you look at our portfolio, what you should be looking for is, how are we doing that? How are we building these worlds and telling these stories? How are we developing global online communities? And how are we bringing those two things together for the fulfillment of motivations? And what we see when we get that is one, we grow our network, and two, we grow the amount of time that players in our network spend in and around our games. And as we think about single player games, we think it's a really, really important part of the overall portfolio that we deliver in the fulfillment of those core motivations. And the way we plan for it over time is really just looking at our community and looking at how they're spending their time and looking at where motivations may or may not be fulfilled. And we'll look to supplement that with the addition of new online games, new multiplayer titles, and new single player games. Holy shit, that's not a word salad, that's a word buffet. With like the little tiny corns, and tater tots for some reason? I mean, if you wanna know how little anything he just said means, just look at what they said next. They immediately went into talking about live service games and how they account for three fourths of EA's overall business. And that's the future. But they're the ones who made it that way. By making so many live service games, they can say, most of the people playing our stuff play live service games. That's like me saying, I make a five minute video game news show. And according to my analytics, my audience, loves a five minute video game news show. Cause that's like all I make. Of course they're gonna love it. Cause that's what they got. This is madness. I just can't with EA sometimes, but I can, oh boy, <laughs> support patreon.com slash Jesse Cox, where you can hang out with max 9183, 
Laura Sendek, and Zell. Anyway, that's it for the show. Thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow with another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News.